Hi everyone, it's Laura Burns. In Exire, you have several ways to search more efficiently through your catalog. And one of those ways, and the one we will be covering in this tutorial, is to search by comparing, or rather to search by example photos. That means you have the possibility of using one or more photos in your photo stock to search for similar images. And I will show you how to do that now. So in order to get started, you need to click the library tab here in the top left hand side. Then down here, click plugin extras. And then the first choice is to search by example photo or rather to allocate a search with an example photo. There are actually a couple of ways to carry out this search and one option or the first option really is to search by an example photo or to search with more example photos as well. The quicker option, which I will come back to later, is to search with the same photos and the same options that you previously used during your search. The third option is to search by external example photo. So not only can you search by comparing photos in your Lightroom catalog, but also by example photos that come from outside of your catalog. So you can use other photos on your computer as your example photo, and you can even take photos from the internet to find similar photos in your Lightroom catalog. But for now, we will begin with searching by an example photo that is located in your Lightroom catalog. After you click it, this window will appear. It's pretty clear what to do. There's really not too much. We just need to select which photo we will use as our example. And in order to do that, I have moved some photos to this collection over here. Here is a photo of a bicycle. At the end are a couple of photos of flowers. And then here is a landscape photo. These photos have qualities that are useful for searching through my catalog and finding which images I want. Uh, for right now, I'm going to use the first photo of the bike. So we will go back to library and plug in extras. And then in this case, we will select search by example photo. By the way, you can see here the keyboard shortcuts you can utilize while using Exire. So you don't have to go through library to plug in and so on every time you want to search and you can just use the shortcut instead. And then open up the search window again. So the example photo I chose for my example collection will appear here. Then we have two options. You can look through your entire catalog for photos that are the same or similar, or you can look through one collection in particular. In this case, it doesn't really make much sense because I just have this one small collection of photos, but if you are searching for a photo in a large file folder or a very large collection that you've already created, then selecting Filmstrip makes a lot of sense. But again, in my experience with my example folder being relatively large, searching the whole catalog goes quickly enough that I almost never select the film strip option. And here you have the option to change the number of results to be displayed. You can make it larger or smaller depending on your preferences. Exire can display up to 5,000 pictures at a time, but just because you can doesn't mean you have to. Personally, I prefer showing about max 50 results at a time. Uh, I can work well with that amount and it's not, you know, unruly. But in any case, you can use this slide to change how many results will be displayed on one page. Or of course, you can type the number in the text field. So now that that is done, you need to choose the search criterion. And you can either search by the photo content so in my example photo, it would search for bicycles. Or you can search by the colors in the photo. And in my case, that would be brown or maybe black. I'm going to choose to search by photo content. So I'm looking for other photos of a bike or bicycles in my Lightroom catalog. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. And you can put the ensuing results into their own new and separate collection. We will look at that in a moment. 
Or you can also put them in a folder in which the search results are rewritten each time, and so the old results will be immediately overwritten. This means that you have one type of collection container in which only the latest results will be recorded. But like I said, we will look at that later. For now, I want to search for photos like my bicycle photo. All of the adjustments are where I want them and make sense for this search. So that just leaves clicking start. So Exire searched through my entire catalog and the 50 photos were identified in no time. That means the search went through my whole catalog very quickly. And very, very important, we know that Exire automatically puts the photos in order of when they were taken. So we should select custom order simply because Exire will then sort the images by how great the similarities are to the example photo. So the photos that look the most like the example photo will appear first. And another important point, if you don't see the toolbar or the custom order option, and just real fast, we can see here that the first few photos are very similar to the example photo. And down here, they are still bicycles, of course, but not exactly depicted in the same way. So here is a bicycle from the back. Here is the front wheel of the bicycle. Here is also just the front. And here someone is riding on a bicycle and so on. So as you can see, selecting custom order is very important for the quality of your search results. But as I was saying, so if you can't see the toolbar, and I'll close it out real quick, then you just have to type the letter T and it will appear. If you don't see the custom order option in the drop down, then go to this little arrow here on the bottom right hand side. And here you can choose which elements you want in your toolbar. And as you can see, custom order is one of those options. Yeah, so we can see that the search results look great. I'm going to make them a little smaller because I want to see all the options at once without having to scroll. I'm also going to close the film strip at the bottom. And you can see that the 50 photos look really similar to the example photo and that I got a good selection of photos very quickly. But that is just one of the ways to search by example photo. Like I mentioned earlier, you can also search with a combination of example photos. So now I will search again for a second time. And before I forget, you can see that as far as the first search is carried out, and as I already mentioned, I wanted it to go to a separate collection. Exire created for us a collection that is made up of what we just did, namely the search we just completed with the example bicycle photo. And here we get the date and the corresponding time. So now we will look at searching with two photos. At the end, we have two photos with flowers, and I want to use both of them. There is a photo of a single flower and then one of several flowers, and you need to select both of them. And then back to library, then plug in extras, and again, search by example photos. And here, Exire has displayed the two photos that we selected in the window. All of the search options are the same as they were for our first search. Once again, we don't want to overwrite our results. And we will leave the number of results to be displayed at 50. And now we will search for photos that depict one or more flowers in the entire catalog. That is already complete. And again, I recommend selecting sort by custom order just so that the most similar or the most relevant photos to the selected example photos appear first. And so we will do that. We will select custom order. And you see the 50 results are just like the example photos. Exire has generated photos that also contain one or more flowers. Maybe it's the case for you that you frequently search by example photo like I do. Maybe you use the same search criteria over and over again. In that case, you have the option to search by example photo with your previous selections. So you don't have to keep going through the same process every single time and instead be a bit more efficient.
especially if you are looking with the example photos, it is a very easy process. Therefore, I'm going to search again, this time with the photo of the landscape. And we have already used two example photos that are very unambiguous. And naturally, it was relatively easy to find similar results. One flower or even more than one flower are pretty straightforward and easy to find. A bicycle is also very easy to identify as our plants. But landscapes are a little more difficult. Here we have a photo and I'm going to make the thumbnail bigger. Here we have a photo that has a sunset and we have flowing water and there are also rocks. It's clearly more difficult from a composition standpoint. And I'm gonna use this as the example photo and keep the previous search options. And to do that, I'm going to take the shortcut this time, which is Control Alt X. You can also see the shortcut under plugin extras in case you forget. And now I'm going to select the landscape photo and I'm going to make the thumbnails smaller so that all 50 results will be on one page and we can see them at once. Then I'll use the shortcut Control Alt X and the search is already complete. And again, Exire defaults to sorting by capture time, so we need to select the custom order option and Exire will sort the photos again. I'll make the thumbnails a bit smaller. And you can see here that Xire has provided very good results, even with more complicated photos that are not so easily recognizable structure-wise or don't have a very defined composition. And we see right now landscapes with sunrises or sunsets, with water and often flowing water, and even the rocks are there. So even with landscape photos, Exire can create a good selection of photos and do so quickly by searching with example photos. I already mentioned that you can search not only with photos from your Lightroom catalog, but also with external photos. In other words, photos that are not from your Lightroom catalog. And that is exactly what I'm going to do now. So we will go back to library and back to plugin extras and then to search by external example photo. And in the window we see now it's pretty similar to the previous windows. The only thing that's different is the data source because we have to provide an outside source. I'm going to start with the local file source and now we will browse through our file manager. And on Mac, that will be Finder, and on Windows, that will be Explorer. And for this example, I have a cat photo on my desktop, but it doesn't matter which file the image is in. So here I have the cat JPEG. The rest I will leave unchanged, and I've already talked about this. This time I will select Overwrite Previous Results so that it will go into a separate collection over here that later can be overwritten permanently by Exire. And accordingly, this collection will be overwritten. And that's that. The other options I'm leaving as is, and I'll go ahead and start the search. And finally, we have 50 cat photos that were found in my Lightroom catalog and the 50 photos that are most similar to the cat photo that I used as my example photo. And we can bring it back up to check that the photos really are similar. And you can see that the search results really are similar to the example photo. They're not just photos of cats, but really portrait style photos of the cat's heads. And now over here, we have an additional collection called Exire Search, and that's because I selected the collection that can be overwritten. So now we have come to the last variation of example photo search. So once again, we will search by external example photo, but this time we will give the example photo from the internet. And 
I will go ahead and take a photo that is on our friend Thomas Hintz's website. So to get that, I will right click on the image. And in this instance, I'll click open photo in a new window. And now I have the complete URL of the photo so I can use it in Exire as the example photo. So I will copy and paste that into the URL text field. And that was it. I'm going to leave the overwrite option on. And then I'm going to reduce the max number of displayed results to 45 to show you that the Exire search collection will overwrite completely even though I'm searching for less results this time around. So I will click search and we already have the results. Again, you'll want to sort by custom order. We see here the overwrite collection and now there are just 45 images. And the cat photos are now gone and it's only the results of my forest photo search. And as you can see, the photos are very similar to the forest photo we took off the internet. And that concludes the tutorial for this search feature.